great deal of high school, was failing out, and never thought I would graduate. I had years of resentment from my biological parents, and I took it out on my parents. My parents reached out to big brothers, big sisters for support. After my sixth hospitalization, I entered uh, residential treatment where I learned to respect myself and how to express my emotions in a positive way. I was matched with my big sister Sarah about a month before residential. We'd, our first outing was going on a hiking trail on the beach. We'd where we talked and got to know each other. I learned a different perspective from someone looking outside of my family. Sarah taught me to be there for myself. She told me not to run from things and how to treat myself like a queen. She didn't run from me either. She was right there waiting for me when I returned from residential treatment. Our best outings were when Sarah would take me to get sushi. <laughs> <laughs> We would have these big talks about our day and we would laugh and have fun. Sarah has made a big impact on me and continues to be an important person in my life. I believe having a mentor in your life to listen to you and to guide you is something that everyone should have. When I got out of residential, I started my senior year in high school. I ended up graduating with a 4.0 GPA. <laughs> I am also unemployed and looking for a job. <laughs> Thank you, big brothers, big sisters, for introducing Sarah to me and for giving me this wonderful award. Thank you for everyone here tonight for making this possible. I would also like to congratulate Louise on his uh, Courage Award as well. Thank you and have a good night. Congratulations on this award. You have courage and spades. Your big sister, Sarah. And now, Jesse's dad, Sean, is going to present her with the 2019 Big Brothers Big Sisters Courage Award. Yeah. 